So guys, for the first method, you want to head over to search and type in Task Manager. Click on it. Now once you're on this, you want to look for Discord. You just want to simply restart Discord. So once you find Discord open, you want to click on it and then click on End Task. Then you just want to open up Discord again and then see if that fixes the problem. For the second method, you want to make sure that Discord has been updated to the latest version. So once you're on Discord, you want to look in the top right. There should be like a download button if your Discord is not fully updated. So you should make sure that your Discord is fully up to date. If it's not, a download button will appear right here. You want to click on it, which will then update Discord to the latest version. Now for the third method, you want to run Discord as an admin. So you want to head over to search and then type in Discord. You want to right click on it and then click on run as administrator. And then click on yes. See if that works for you. Now for the third method, you want to head over to the Discord settings and then you want to click on advanced. Now you want to turn off hardware acceleration. And then you want to click on OK, which will then relaunch Discord and then see if that works for you. If not, you can just turn it back on again. Now for the next method, you want to head over to search and type in device manager. Click on it. Now once you're on this, you want to expand display adapters and then you want to find your graphics card. You want to right click on it and then click on update driver and then click on search responsive for drivers. Make sure you have the best drivers for your device installed. I'm also going to leave three links down below for Nvidia, AMD and Intel. You want to download the software that comes with your graphics card and you want to make sure you have the latest drivers through the software itself. If that's still not working for the last method, you want to head over to search and type in add your remote programs. Click on it. Now once you're on this, you want to scroll down until you find Discord. Now once you find Discord, you want to click on the three dots, then click on uninstall and then you want to uninstall it. Then you just want to re-download it again. Now once you reinstall Discord again, you just want to restart your computer and the problem should be fixed.